Welcome to Bronze Nation TV. Thank you for checking in. Today we have a very interesting show on the Mexican drink called Pajaretes. Please tune in. You're going to enjoy this historical journey of the drink Pajaretes. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Pre-1500s in España The origins of Spanish pajarete originated at a monastery and vineyard situated at the Jerez de la Frontera España in southern Spain. The original pajarete was made with the famous and delicious Pedro Jimenez grapes. The pajarete is finished by mixing the wine with essences called arope and sanchocho, basically a grape syrup. The final product becomes a sweet, delicious vino de color. Spanish pajarete became well known in the United Kingdom. It was used by the Scots to cure their whiskey barrels. Fast forward to 1519. Hernán Cortés leaves Spain to discover the new world. He lands in Tabasco, Mexico. Two years later in 1521, Gregorio Villalobos brought cattle to the New World. With cows come milk. In the 1600s, Spaniards introduced goats to Mexico. Mexican pajarete could be made with either goat or cow's milk. Let's fast forward to modern day Mexico. Let's go to the birthplace of the delicious Mexican pajarete. The Mexican pajarete is completely different from the Spanish drink. Mexican pajarete is a party held in a barn early in the mornings when the cows are ready to be milked. Buenos dias, welcome to Rancho Las Chichis, Mexico. Here we go. We start off by adding our mix. A little bit of Sanka coffee, the chocomil, which is grounded up chocolate. You could add sugar for extra taste. The next thing we do is we add our alcohol of choice. The alcohol is needed because it needs to kill the bacteria since the milk is not pasteurized. Originally, pajarete was made with tequila. I prefer mine with alcohol de caña, sugarcane alcohol. Once we add the alcohol to the mix and we mix it all around, it's time to throw the fire inside that cup. We need to do this so we can get a nice roasted flavored drink after we add the milk. You will see this upcoming. So I usually let the cup burn for a few minutes to get that taste that I'm looking for. It's almost getting there. So right about now, I'm going to ask my boy Rich to help me out. I need to extinguish the fire before I take it to the Mexican espresso machine. The fire is out. Now we're going to head to the Mexican espresso machine. It's a beautiful sound. Just let me know that I'm gonna have me some delicious drink here in a couple seconds. He's educating me on the type of cow this is. He says it's the uva. The color of the chichi is a grape color. So here we go, taking my first drink of the morning. 
Damn, it's delicious. Now my boy Rich is up the bat. He's about to get his drink on. Well, there you go. This is Mexican Pajaretes 101. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to Bronze Nation TV.